This is the guided practice for 8.3. All right, number one talks about writing an equation to represent the function shown in the table. So in this table, we have x and we have y. The x is the input, the y is the output. So something is going from x, going through a function, and coming out the output. Okay, Zero to zero. What's going on there? It could be plus zero, it could be times zero, it could be lots of things. So let's go over to this one. One to four. Could be plus three. If it's plus three, let's check it with here. Two plus three, does that equal eight? No. So it's not plus three. So what else could be happening? One times four. So this could be times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3, ti oops. <laughs> 3 times 4 is 12. And 4 times 4 is 16. So the function is 4 times x. So y, the output, equals 4 times x. And there you've done an equation to represent the table. Uh, doesn't matter what x is, if I want to know what y is, so say I do this again here, and I want the input to be 10, so I put x as 10, so before times 10 equals y, my output equals 40. Okay? So that's the, the value of having a function is then you can, it doesn't matter what you put in or what you have as an output, you'll be able to figure out the other because you have the function. Okay. We're going to graph the function y equals x plus 3. And the way I'm going to do this, x is my input and y is my output. So I'm going to say x is 0, or 1. Let's start with 1. So if I put 1 in here for x, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now I'm going to change this to 2. If x is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. Make that 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Then I can make this 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay. So there's enough data points for me. So this is my x. And I go x is 1 all over here, and then up 4, y. So there's one point. Then the next one is 2 and 5, all the way to 2, up to 5. Okay. Then I have 3 and 6. And then I have 4 and 7. So there's my graph. And this represents y equals x plus 3. Number three, the graph below shows the number of inches of rainfall, x, equivalent to inches of snow. Make a function table for the input-output values. Write an equation from the graph that can be used to find the total inches of snow. So y is the snow, equivalent to the inches of rain, which is the x. Rain is x, snow is y. Rain is here. So the x, let's do this dot first. So rainfall, 1 inch equals 10, inch, 10 inches of snow. Now let's do 2 inches of, snow, of rainfall. That equals 20. 3 equals 30. I'm already getting an idea of what my function is. And 4 equals 40. Okay, so my y is always going to equal x times something. How do I get from here to here? Times 10. 2 times 10. 3 times 10. 4 times 10. Okay. The other way you could see it is um, every time you go up by 1 here, you go up by 10. 
So it's going up a 10, so you multiply it by another 10. y equals 10x. So no matter how much rain I get, the x, I times it by 10, and that will get me my snowfall. Okay? So I was able to use these points on the graph, put them into this function table, and then get my function. And I always, I've always heard that's, a, that's right. Um, I always think of a foot, like an inch of rain equals one foot of snow, which would be 12 inches. I was always thinking it was times 12, but depends on probably the how wet the snow is. Um, but in this one here, in this example, it's y equals 10x.